What do we got? Panzer of three, else for L. So, how do we begin? Lesson one. Suspension arms onto the lower hull. All those bits and pieces. Right, so you've got to check because there's left-handed and right-handed components for some of them. There's quite a few little bits there. There's your hull. Make sure you get it the right way round. So I've just got to finish trimming these down. I've taken them off the sprue. Just got to trim them down, cut them down, and then glue them in place. So there we go. So suspension arms. Some pokey out bits, flat bit, and then this bit. Done. Well, Christmas is over and the world has started to get back to normal, and I'm getting back to modelling. So, step two cut those bits out. Just need to trim them up, start attaching them. Well, there we go, that's all that done. Next step, stage three, is attaching the muffler. Now there is a separately sold photo etched grill available, but ain't gonna happen for me. I'm sorry, not with my eyes. So, so a little look. Let's see if I can get that sorted. Well, that's cool. It's all pretty complex, and a lot of detail is now hidden away. So more difficult to paint, but it was, it was, uh, yeah, quite nice. Nice bit of fiddliness. Just got to push that joint across slightly. Well, that's all the rest of it. So the hull is now complete. Step four is done. All the wheels, the road wheels, and the sprockets, etc. So they're ready to go on as well. But I'm going to spray that first that's sprayed behind. Spray them separate. Because I've got to pick out all the details like the rims and so on as well. But yeah, so if I get the hull, the hull sprayed and then that, that's sorted. Now I then skipped forward, right? So I've skipped number five because that's putting the wheels on there okay and these bits of track okay and i've gone straight for six because i was on the phone and uh i've done all that done those bits that's quite nice they're all ready to rock and roll so next is step seven putting on the front armor plate and some of those bits and bobs let's get ready to humbrol Oh yeah, so there we go with the old yellow, the dark yellow, all sprayed up, all painted up. Now I'm going to put all those bits and pieces together, which will take us up to that bit. So that will be six done, minus the track bits. Uh, and then we start hitting number seven. Well, I've worked on, splattered on a bit of black and a bit of metallic grey, you know, just behind... Obviously, there's going to be a lot of weathering put on that first, but that'll just give it a bit. There's like a load of sludge down on that side. Now, problem I got is these wheels don't start. I'm going to have to glue them. I don't want to glue the bloody road wheels on, but they keep falling off, so I'm going to have to. Idle wheels fine, sprockets fine. They go round, held in place. But yeah, I'll have to, won't I? Well, that's all that done. Main sort of hull of the upper deck. That's not attached at the moment. Um, I'm now going to start with all these pieces and build my turret and gun mantle. There we go. I've got some spray paintings to do on the deck and the hull. There we go. But this is uh, my next bit. Well, there we go. That's the various parts of the gun and mantle assembled. So it's a five centimeter KWK 39L60 gun. Fits into the mantlet, you've got the recall tube, that's that little bit there, and then the armour plating on the front. So that's all ready to go together. Well, I really like how that went together. It's all done, all complete, all moves, with the exception of the machine gun, which I'll put in later, because otherwise I've just got to paint it a few times, might snap it off. But you've got various bits that push through here, push through there, and so on, and so forth, and trap each other in. Really good. Well, what do you know? Look at my turret with my movable gun. Look, isn't that nice? Well, that's going to do for now. I've put the commander's cupola on and I've put the Rommel Kister back storage box on. So, 
Next will be all the little hatches and all that stuff. All the little midgety bits that have got to go on there. And well, I changed my mind, didn't I? I put all the little hatches on, the handrails, little bolty bits, etc., etc. So I'll leave all that to dry. I'm not doing any painting right now. But if we have a little look, this will give you an idea. That's a cracking little model. I've actually really enjoyed making this one as well. It's really nice. Anyway, there's a bit of spraying to do tomorrow. That bit isn't fixed, nor are those two spare wheels. because there's stuff to go under them. But I'm really, really pleased. I think it's great. Right, here we go, the next base coat going on. This will cover all the little bits and bobs. Well, I better leave all that to dry, I suppose. Can't do anything else until it has. Well, there you go, that's a state of play today. I'm going to bed now before work. So this is the update for the end of the year. The tools have all been painted up. The tyres are painted. The uh, armour is painted on the base coat. The wheels are painted, the tyres on those, the tracks are painted. Just all needs finishing off, then I need the striping, then I need the weathering. Ain't going to be done this year, damn it. Right, well here we are, the world's gone back to normal now, it's the 2nd of January. I'm still on shifts, I'm still knackered, but uh, I want to get this nailed. So, I've got my dark yellow on there and it's all built up so it's just the little accessories like spare wheels that go on the top, stuff like that. Put my tracks on, okay. Um, I've put the black round the wheels for the road tyres. Everything's fitted. Now I'm going to put my camo on. So, I haven't uh, stuck that down. So there's my, my um, hull. Stick out at one side. Do that now. The colour scheme I'm going for on this is going to be the gold with red brown. So Russia 1943, because I haven't got that in my collection yet. A, a golden brown one. Golden brown, texture like sun. <laughs> so I've got my Matt 160 Humbrol golden. Uh, sorry, red brown, rot brown. So that's going on now. So over to me, airbrush, Timtech cheap airbrush. It's absolutely brilliant. I love it, but then I've never used a proper, expensive, good one. But we're going to go for a little pattern on that. Well, that looks cracking. Leave that to dry off. That was a quick 10-minute spray. Uh, yeah. I lowered the pressure right down, came in nice and close. So I've got a couple of areas that are a bit um, heavier than I was intending. But I think that will probably dry all right. They're both on the turret. If not, I can always do some remedial work, but that's looking really cool. That's a cracking colour scheme. Right, it's all dried off now. Looking really sweet, really nice. Lovely crisp moulding on this. Very, very nice. Now I'll stick all my other little bits and bobs on. That's looking good, isn't it? Very nice, very nice. Very nice, very nice indeed. All right, got to get my paintbrush out and pick out some small details here and there. And then I'm ready for the decals and the weathering. <laughs> Love it. So here we go, I'm ready for the decals. If I look at the instructions in black and white, not very helpful. I don't know if that's a brown or a green on yellow. I think it's green on yellow. If I look at this 10th Panzer Division one from February 1943 in Tunisia, that's just the dark yellow. 18th Panzer, winter 1942, that's just one colour, I've got a feeling that's white, okay, so that's no good either, that's plain as well. This one, oh, that's the one on the front cover of the instructions, that's green on yellow, again I don't want that. That's one just picked it on a box top. Now, here, with the brown on yellow, 11th Panzer Division, 15th Panzer Regiment, summer 1943, Russia. That's what I'm going to go for. Now the problem is, or the colour scheme should I say, the problem is it doesn't really indicate all that much where all the different um, insignia go. So if we look at the actual decals, okay, here, this is 11 pounds of division. Okay, now numbers, I don't really know what numbers I'm going to use. So I have got my spares here from my various other kits and the ones I've bought. Okay, really I want five, two something, but... 
we're going to work that out. At least I know where to put my German crosses, etc. I mean, it does look gorgeous, doesn't it? All my decals on, the crosses, the numbers, even the divisional mark, 11 pounds a division. Looks cracking. Really, really does look nice. It's such a crisp model as well. Crisp moulding. Really, really looks nice. But anyway, now what I need to do is tone everything down by giving it some weathering, a bit of dusting. So, airbrushes at dawn. Got me matte brown. I'll give out dusting from afar. And um, then, I guess we'll be finished. Well, there you go. One pounds of three, all finished. All painted up, deckled up, weathered, and ready to join the rest of the division.